Thank you very much, not so consistent Deputy Speaker. Now that the Joshua, Joshua Doe has left, a revolutionary is on the podium. President and Commander-in-Chief of the EFF, the officials, commissars and fighters, all nine provinces, I greet you. Let me start by attending to Mr. Karim, an old OPA, a beneficiary of today's ANC male-dominated speaking list. You must be told to your face that you must never undermine women and their agency. Nothing is more demeaning, insulting, and misorganistic than a man who, because they can't win an argument against a woman, they start saying her views are not her own. She is being used by men. You must stop doing that. This is what your textbook and mediocre reading of Marx and Lenin has not afforded you, to respect women, young black women in particular. Fight and a lady can take you on, chief. She can take you on anywhere, anytime. You must go and ask your father there in Nkandla, Baba Gadu Duzan. But let me not, not waste my breath. Your generation is probably lost forever on the significance of feminist ideology. Let me now talk to the issue of land, which you abandoned because the ANC position of expropriation of land was rejected and even rubbished by spurious communists like you. You lost that debate in the ANC conference just like you lost your seat in the National Assembly. And you are in the NCOP and I'm going to deal with you. <laughs> Mr. President, we listened and we did not hear you talk about land clearly. We were right to say you were bluffing and you did not mean anything you said about the land issue. Land, like mineral resources, should be in the custody of the state and the state must give permission and rights to use the land for a specific purpose. The Fifth Parliament has done its work. We went all over the country and listened to our people. They were very clear they want the land and they want it now. Humpieno is singling. The idea that you can redistribute land by giving our people title deeds you are handing over before the elections will not resolve the crisis of landlessness. Title deed for what, by the way? Our people in township, spaceless, with no sanitation, no water, no electricity. If you say you want to give them title deeds, title deeds are for what exactly? Our people do not have place to worship. Our kids do not have playground, but play in dump sites. Our youth do not have recreational and sport facilities because of landlessness. Today, the signal to our ancestors. Mothers, fathers, grandfathers, and grandmothers cannot feed their families with more than 15 million South Africans unable to afford to feed their families because of landlessness. These title deeds our people get are used to fake collateral to get our people to borrow money they can't afford to repay, and the little pieces of land will end, will end up back in the hands of white-owned banks. If anything, this is a deliberate decision to ridicule black people and land struggles. <laughs> Mr. President, you ridicule black people and their landlessness, yet you tell them to dream about bullet trains and new cities. On which land? That is why we are saying by the end of 2019, the sixth parliament should finalize the land question and all the land must be in the custody of the state. The sixth parliament must pass the necessary legislation and the economic freedom fighters will table land redistribution act and agrarian reform act. We must ensure that the legislation to redistribute land clearly states that a minimum of 50% of the land must be controlled by women and youth in particular. We must abolish foreign ownership. The Sixth Parliament must all draft these laws in such a way that we establish legal structures to manage and distribute land to all those need, needed for pr productive and residential purposes. Now, because you you, you are suffering from a poverty of ideas. Should it happen that you run out of that, come to the EFF. We must ensure that people's right to the land are protected and not subjected to abuse by state officials and mining companies like what Mr. Gwede Mantashi and his Australian company are doing to the people of Kolobain. 
to do this properly, we must develop a system to land rights registration to ensure that communal and customary land rights are recordable and afforded the same protection as other forms of rights. We do not say this to, to render traditional leaders in our communities useless and irrelevant. Our traditional leaders still have a role to play in our communities, including the process to allocate land to all people, in particular women and the youth. I'm repeating this for the second time. If we are serious about giving our people rights to land, we must equally resource land courts to speed up resolutions of all land-related dis disputes. We cannot allow a situation where one acting judge is appointed to hear all land-related matters without necessary support or resources. We must set up the other committee to start working on the modalities of amendment of Section 25 of the Constitution. Mr. President, if you are going to change and disown your party conference resolution, that is your problem. Don't tag us and don't say we do not warn you. As the economic freedom fighters have made a commitment to our people, we are the generation that has discovered its mission and we intend to fulfill it. We will do so because we know victory is certain and our people will have the land. Amanda, I want to say to, to my sister, uh, Comrade Zinzi, Zinzi Mandela, that we are behind you. You must, the struggle continues. Thank you. Honorable Tarabella Machesi.